Hello, my name is Chris Miller. I'm making this video because of a watch that I bought at Hellsberg Diamonds that for some reason they refused to even look at the damage that was on the watch that I found after I bought it. I went in pointing out the damage on the side of the watch in which the salesman told me it was part of the watch. So here's the watch. There's the magnifier that I'm going to move to line it up. <clears throat> so that way we got a clear picture. Again, the watch and the magnifier. I'm going to try and keep this in view. Now that I don't have to use both hands. First thing I'm going to do is show you something that is impossible to be on any new watch, impossible to fake, impossible to duplicate because of the way it is. <clears throat> this takes months to get. This is grease buildup. It's underneath. It goes all the way. I'm actually going to make this full screen. And let's tilt this this way. This should be enough right here to let you know that the watch was not brand new. This does not happen in a couple of weeks. This does not happen in a month. This happens over a long period of time. As you can see, if you go up a little bit, it's even underneath. I mean, you can tell right there. In the band, there's scratches all the way across. And right here, you can tell this is where the band, come on, you stupid thing. This is where the band connects on the bottom here. Jeez, this thing is hard to... I apologize to whoever's watching this. As you can see, the buildup is even on the edge corner where it snaps in. There's a good view right there. <laughs> it's on the other side as well. some weird discoloration but I will find here's the other side which I believe is a little bit more no this is the one that's a little bit less but as you can tell still the buildup if you try to duplicate this you would have lines in it smears and all kinds of stuff that's grease and lint and you can tell one thing that's a dead giveaway, besides everything else I'm going to show you, is how it's underneath here. That doesn't happen on a watch in a week or even a month. <clears throat> now, I want to go to where I brought it in and pointed out this damage in which the salesman told me that it was part of the watch and sat there and argued with me for 15 minutes which is right there now he was looking at it through a magnifier and he told me that was part of the metal now I'm not sure which metal he's talking about <sighs> Dang, this thing is freaking frustrating but I apologize the light is not playing well as you can see it goes over and down, where did it go? There it is. 
Now, as you can see, there's a lot of other scratches. Now, watch as I go around the face of the watch, how much more damage you have pits like right in here <clears throat> and a ton, I mean a ton of scratches here. <sighs> this freaking light. There we go. You can see around the edge how the amount of scratches. Now, the manager refused to look at this. They were so focused on the scratches on the band, which I still didn't notice even when I took it back into them. Good grief, you stupid magnifier. Sorry, this is 180 times magnification, so it's pretty touchy. But you can tell there's marks. There we go. There's marks in the metal, chips, like that black mark right there. And as we go, you can tell the edge, how it's just, I mean, it's chewed up right here. There's so many scratches along the edge of this face and pits in the glass. In the crystal, there's a little scratch right there all along where the arrow is. But look at the edge of the, the metal. I mean, this, this I, I don't even understand how someone could come close to doing this much damage on a watch. Oh, you stupid thing. And it gets better, too. It gets more damage. You can tell this watch has been polished. Okay, we're good. You can tell this watch, I mean, this watch has been worn for a long time. The amount of damage, the pits, the scratches, there's another scratch. I mean, the, even the glass right there, it's like a braised or scratch. I mean, these are pits. Those aren't just a, a couple scratches. I mean, these things are deep that have been polished out. You can't notice this just by looking at it. These don't show up just with the naked eye. Now, I'm looking at all these right here. I mean, look at the scratches here. Look at all these divots, all these pits that are in the watch. <clears throat> just along the face. I don't know what that black thing is. Now, here's a good shot right here. All these little indentations, this scar right here, all these little and then the massive amounts of scratches that are on the outside edge of this watch. <sighs> Come on, you dumb light. There we go. How the heck do you freaking turn that stupid light off? Ah, here we go. There we go. A little bit better there. Okay. Now you can see a little bit better. Maybe I need to turn the light back up. I apologize about the length of this. I'm just trying to be thorough and show you every detail that I saw. Um, I mean, anyone who has owned a metal watch knows that this amount of damage, especially right here, you can see all along the edge that there are a lot of scratches, dings, pivots in the metal or whatever you call them from it being hit. So you go all the way around the face. I mean, there's like a big gouge, right? Where did it go? You can see a gouge here somewhere. I just saw one. And I mean, the, the scratch, the amount of scratches is absolutely amazing. Now, I understand you guys don't sell watches like this. If you look up my name and my name before I got married and changed my last name to my mother's maiden name, look at that. 
I mean, that right there, you have like a little crack or something in the metal again coming across. I mean, look at that thing. I don't even know what that is, but it's a... Oh, I think that might be part of the minute. <laughs> nope. That's something else that's damaged. Now, right there, you see all those divots, those little marks. That's from... <laughs> Honestly, I think it's from years of damage. Then you go back over to the face of the watch. And that right there, I mean, look at the damage on this watch. It's been put through a wood chipper or something. There's no way this amount of damage could be on a brand new watch or even be made on a watch in a week's time. I mean, this thing's been polished and more than likely repaired, but the amount of chips and scratches and just the gunk buildup. I mean, look at this. This is all around the edge. I don't know what that black thing is. There's black marks. And look at this. I mean, this is horrible. You're telling me I paid $2,000 for a watch that's like this and a salesman who argued with me for 10 minutes to try and convince me that this was part of the metal when I showed him the big scratch, which I'm not even back around to yet? I mean, yes, I lost my temper. I blew up in there because I spent $3,000 and I go in there to get my watch looked at and I get told a bunch of bull crap like I'm an idiot. And then a manager who is not even willing to look at the evidence that I have that proves the watch was damaged. If you need more evidence, I will gladly give it to you. I don't know how much more time this thing is going to record. But here's another thing that I want to show you real quick. Just the mechanics of the watch are off. Now, all that damage is impossible to do in a week. And the gunk itself, I don't, you go to any watch store and they will tell you that grease buildup is not possible in that short amount of time. That grease buildup is at least, I mean, minimum like six months old, my guess. And with all the scratches and stuff that it has on there, I mean, I bought my wedding ring from you guys. I bought my wedding band. I bought my wife's engagement ring. I spent all my money on all my jewelry at Hellsburg. Now, when this gets around to 60, I want to show you where the minute hand is. And this is another thing I was arguing with the salesman about, which was absolutely ridiculous to even argue about this. God bless it. Okay, when it gets to the 60, I'm going to show you where the minute hand is. 60, okay. Look at the minute hand. It's in the middle of the lines. In the middle. At 60 when it should be lined up. Another problem. Oh, look at all the pits right there in the glass. Look at all. Oh, my God. I did not even notice that. Look at all the hat in the glass itself. Oh, my word. Or is that sweat or water or something? might be sweat yeah okay I was gonna say she's okay but see the minute hand was in the middle it's not lined up now let's set, check out the stopwatch part the stopwatch will come around there it is look the stopwatch is off the stopwatch is not lining up Dang it. Where did it go? There it comes. Now it's kind of lining up there, but it didn't line up to the other ones. Come on, dang it. See, it lines up halfway around. Up, oh, Then it starts to go off again. Going off more and more. Now it's past the line completely. 
it's probably going to end up about halfway. I mean, you can tell it goes off and then on. Still the same watch. I'm going to do the serial number now. Let's see, zoom in before I run out of room. Okay. I mean, look at the scratches underneath this thing. Oh, come on. How. This has been polished to cover up damage. There is no... <laughs> yes, I lost my temper. In your store, I'm sure you will hear that from your manager. I acted like an idiot and there was no reason for it. But you know what? I honestly can't even say anything about my actions. They were foolish and... I felt like I got ripped off for thousands of dollars. I mean, look at the bottom of this. How do you have... Are you still recording? How do you have that much damage? Look at this. Mike. Oh. There is no possible way that anyone can tell me this watch is brand new. Actually, I've already been told that the watch is not brand new. That... Where's the freaking serial number? Come on. Hey, good grief, you thing. Ah, don't.